This is an exciting time for the youth of our nation. That's because the Boy Scouts of America listened to member families. We have welcomed boys and girls into Cub Scouting, and on February 1st, 2019, we will welcome girls to become members of the Scouts BSA program. These are groundbreaking decisions for girls and boys, ones that will benefit youth and families today and for generations. And families are responding. In just the past few months, more than 62,000 girls have joined Cub Scouts all across the nation, and more are joining every day. Already with Scouts BSA, hundreds of leaders are planning to create new units to welcome girls, and thousands of girls have let us know they are excited to join troops. Many are already planning their Eagle Scout journey. The momentum just keeps building. Now you may have heard that the Girl Scouts of the USA has filed a federal lawsuit against the Boy Scouts of America, claiming that by calling girls in Scouts BSA Scouts and using slogans like, Scout Me In, we are causing confusion. Let me say, that's the last thing that we want. We take every organization's branding and trademark seriously. And any time we've been made aware of any instance of potential confusion, we've immediately taken steps to correct and clarify it. We do not want anybody to be confused about joining our programs. While I don't expect that the families of the 62,000 plus girls that registered were confused when they signed up about which program they were joining, we will gladly refund the registration fee if that has occurred. Avoiding confusion was the exact reason we selected Scouts BSA to replace the program name Boy Scouts. We reviewed lots of different options, and many of our members told us, just call them Scouts. But we opted for Scouts BSA. Some thought it sounded awkward, but it was very intentional. We are fans of any organization that builds character in children. We all know that kids who get involved in youth organizations achieve the positive outcomes that empower them to do better in life. So we encourage girls to join Girl Scouts, 4-H, Cub Scouts, or whatever programs are right for them. We would like nothing better than the 95% of youth who do not belong to any organization to find one that's right for them. Our North Star in making these kinds of decisions is what is in the best interest of kids. We think including all youth in our programs gives families both choices and opportunities. That's good for boys, girls, and families. And it's the right thing to do for America's future.